In this video, we're going to look at a couple more ratios, um, but this time uh, we're going to involve some decimals and mixed numbers in our ratios. So, so in this top example here, write 1.427 as a fraction in lowest terms. So again, 1.4 is going to go on top because it's the first number in our ratio, and then the 7 will go on bottom. Now, of course, we need to make sure there's no common factors between the top and bottom, but before we even worry about that, uh, we have this issue of a decimal in the numerator. We never want decimals within fractions. That's certainly not considered a reduced fraction to have a decimal involved. And so let's remember um, how it is that we can remove decimals from a number. Um, remember that if we multiply by powers of 10, that moves our decimal point to the right. So I can multiply 1.4 by 10, and that's going to have the effect of turning 1.4 into 14, because that decimal point is just going to jump over one place. But of course we know with fractions we're only allowed to multiply by something on top if we also multiply by that exact same thing on bottom. So 7 times 10 is 70. And so we end up with the fraction 14 70ths. And now we can set about um, reducing our fraction from here by finding common factors for the top and bottom. Um, one thing uh, you may or may not notice is that 14 actually goes into both 14 and 70. The way you would know that is because um, 7 goes into 14 and so does 2 and also 2 certainly goes into 70 and 7 goes into 70. So since both 2 and 7 go into both 14 and 70, 2 times 7, which is 14, goes into both. But if you didn't notice that, that's fine. I think a pretty natural way um, to go through this problem is to maybe first say, hey, I recognize that 7 goes into both numbers. And so we end up with a 2 on top and a 10 on bottom. And then clearly we can divide the top and bottom of 2 tenths by, by 2. So we can divide by 2, divide by 2. And that's going to give us a final reduced fraction of 1 fifth. So 1 fifth is our fraction written in lowest terms. Now, this next example has two mixed numbers. So we have 2 and 2 thirds to 1 and 7 ninths. And we want to write that as a fraction in lowest terms. So again, we know that the first mixed number, oops, that was a mistake. The first mixed number uh, will go on top, and the second one goes on bottom. Now, let's remember right here this big fraction bar, this is really a division sign. Right? That's all a fraction bar really is, is, it's a division sign. And so ultimately what we're going to be doing is dividing the top by the bottom. And so because of that, let's remember our rules for dividing mixed numbers. Anytime we're dividing mixed numbers, in order to perform that operation, we have to write the mixed number as an improper fraction. So let's do that first with both mixed numbers. Let's turn them to improper fractions. So remember the way we do that is multiply the whole number times the denominator, which gives us 6, and then add the numerator, which gives us 8. And then we just put that over the denominator. So 2 and 2 thirds becomes 8 thirds. 1 and 7 ninths, 1 times 9 is 9, plus 7 is 16. So that gives me 16 ninths on bottom. And then again, using the fact that this fraction bar here is just a division sign, we can rewrite this as 8 thirds divided by 16 ninths. And then remember to divide by a fraction, we are going to multiply by its reciprocal or its flip. Okay. And then remember the rule for multiplying is to just multiply straight across and then uh, of course, we need to have our fraction in the lowest terms. So we could go 8 times 9 and 3 times 16 and get a large fraction that we have to reduce. But remember, we can also make life a lot easier on ourselves if we pre-reduce. Right? Remember, that means let's go ahead and divide the
the top and bottom by the same thing before we do our multiplication. So since 8 and 16 have a common factor of 8, let's divide the 8 by 8 and get 1. Divide 16 by 8 and get 2. I can divide 3 by 3 to get 1 and 9 by 3 to get 3. So what I end up with here is 1 times 3 on top gives me 3 and 1 times 2 on bottom gives me 2. So that ratio written as a fraction in lowest terms is 3 over 2 or 3 to 2.